so this is what I have for a little fuel tank. Out of YouTube so today we're going after the water pump this guy here you look down here you can see a little bit of green stuff right at the tip of my finger there but we're going after the water pump on this 2014 Chevy Cruze I'm gonna show you what I need to do so I'm gonna gotta take this air snoot off here take off all these Phillips here and I'm gonna take this off push this clip out and push that down and then there might be some tens underneath this air box get the air box out but I'm going to have to get this mount out of the way in order to get access to my bolts for my water pump. Okay, so these bolts here, that's where I got my box out of the way and it just kind of lifts and pulls out of the way like so. You got these 15 bolts here and I have my engine on it right now so my engine doesn't go to point. There's one, two, and it just went down a little bit, so we're going to go ahead and take the rest of the bolts out. And then go back this way out I got my 315 bolts out, the bracket came out, and now I have my water pump in the way. So, <clears throat> you got your bolts here, you get your ratchet on there, and you just break those bolts loose. And break this one loose. And I think this is like an E10. It's a E12 torque. And then I have an E13 down here for my tensioner. And I'm going to try to tension this. And I think there's a way you can keep the spring back so you don't have to worry about getting desprung and all that good stuff. So let me see what I can do. So this is what I did. I didn't have to do it, but it's a little hokey. So what I did is I just I pushed down the ratchet down. And then I put this pin right here. You can see down in there, you got, you depensioned it, and then you can put my pin inside this hole here, and it just kind of keeps it out of the way, so then you can pull your stuff through. So, I'm going to take my bolts off my pulley here, and then we're going to see what it takes to pull the water pump out. So, what we're going to have to do is, these are E10s, there's one there, one there, one there, and this is what your new pump looks like, as you can tell, it's integrated with your uh, thermostat. So I got to take the thermostat off, so if you haven't got a thermostat or thermostat gasket, you might as well do that now because you're never going to be any closer. So, yeah. also, I'm going to take this off and replace all my clamps, or my single clamp here, and make sure that's good. So I will go ahead and get some stuff coming for that and I will take this part off here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray all this down with carb spray before I break it loose just to kind of clean things up and then the coolant should wash it down. So all these bolts are pretty much the same except for the ones that I have left in. And there's a tall one up here. There is a tall one here. There is a long one here. And there's a long one down here. And a long one at the bottom. And I think that's it after I got all the other ones. I just have a hidden one right there and underneath there. And I will take these, try to get this off. So, got a little bit of pry bar back here and I just pried right here. I got this out of the way. Next step is I'm going to get this connector off. Get a little more access to my screw clamp here and my bolts for my thermostat. So now that I got the water pump off there, we're gonna have to do some scraping and some cleaning. So I got my scraper here and we're just gonna kinda work on getting off all this gasket material. And it's actually a metal clad gasket. So take that off, throw that away, and we're gonna go ahead and get this off. And might even use some scotch bright. Buff it up and spray it off some carb cleaner. Make it look nice and pretty. Here's my water pump. My surface is pretty clean now. 
And I put RTV on the other side just for reassurance. And I'm going to put a little bit here on this. And I usually use the black RTV and put that on there. And then I went ahead and I looked in our records and we actually we replaced this thermostat in the past. So I'm just going to put a little bit of RTV on my O-ring and put it back together. And I'll throw it back on there. And you can look at your... If, the way I started doing making videos was that I... Um, just took videos for myself to put stuff back together and if you want to start doing that that would be great too because then you'd have an idea of when where the bolts came out you have long bolts short bolts and all that good stuff all right so i got them back in so all the bolts i reviewed my footage and i looked and all the bolts are in the right spots so the next step is i just go back go around make a circle make sure every last one is tight because they will work themselves loose sometimes and then i'm gonna go ahead and put my hose on here and got new Andy Andy hose clamp. Get that on there and get that in place. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put it back together and put some coolant in it. So I'm gonna fast forward to the coolant part. And we'll. All right. So now that I got my belt back in, took my pin out. I actually have to tension this a little bit to get my belt in place. But so I got that. So I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of torque on these a little bit more. Now. All I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to put a screwdriver in between here and there in order to torque that down. So this is how I have my screwdriver like against here. These actually have flat spots here. So then I'm able to put it against my socket and tighten down my bolts and make sure it's good and tight. All right. Howdy, fixers. Fix are good here. So thanks for watching. Appreciate it. So that's how you do the water pump on a 2014 Chevy Cruze. Um, if you have any questions or anything like that, just comment down below. Uh, first time coming around across one of my videos, give me a like, give me a subscribe, um, tell a friend about it. And this is what I do, I just make videos to show people how things go back together or what this one bolt looks like, if you have any questions or anything like that, um, and just help you with the job. If you, if you feel like there's anything I could add or anything like that, just let me know down below in the comments. Um, but that's just, that's basically how you do it. Um, you just... Put it back together. The main thing I didn't put in the fact at the end is that you top off your coolant and do 50-50. You do one gallon of uh, pure coolant with one gallon of water. Put that in there. Distilled water. Um, and then you run it. Make sure maybe like 15 minutes or so with the cap on and stuff like that. Make sure it doesn't get hot, air bubbles or anything like that. And go drive it or whatever you gotta do. But yeah, that's basically it if you wanted to do it. Um, but yeah. Thanks for watching and really appreciate it. And if you have any questions, like I said, just comment down below. And really appreciate everybody that subscribed recently and in the past. Like, I'm almost 800. I really couldn't believe I got this far. So, thank you guys. I really, really, really appreciate you guys watching. So, have a good night and uh, have a good one.